Hey everybody, so since the pillow tutorial is not on the YouTubes, I'm gonna go ahead and do that here now as I am setting up a different scene. So, uh, I have created a plane here just because I want some pillows that are also going to hit the ground. Um, but let's go ahead and create a basic pillow. I'm just going to throw my ground for now onto a layer and hide that so I don't, and I don't need my sketch right now. Okay. So first you want to go and create a cube or a cylinder, whichever one you want, and um, come in, probably turn the height down a bit. Um, you want to turn up your subdivisions for all the sides, um, because just like the cloth can only bend wherever there's an edge, so go ahead and turn those up. I normally like to make it so that there is a line down the center, but that's totally up to you. And you want to squish it, the smaller the better, it's going to puff up. And you can also go ahead and bevel the edges if you want to. I am not right now. And what we're going to do with this selected, I go up to modeling, switch on over to effects, come up to the end cloth here, and create an end cloth. Okay, so uh, come on over into our attribute editor on the side, and there is a couple things we want to do. So mine first opened up to the end cloth, shape one. You're going to come down here to pressure and turn up the pressure to uh, maybe about 0 0.5, 0 0.7. And then we want to come over to the nucleus and come down to gravity and wind. This may be closed. And then turn the gravity down. And then when you come down here to do the play, you should puff up and you should get kind of a pillow shape. This might be too uniform for you, you can go ahead and use the soft select uh, and squish it all around if you need to. Alrighty. So there is one pillow. And I'm going to go into object mode, control D to duplicate, move that over and delete my other one. I don't need this. Actually, bring it on back. Okay, so it's back to this shape. I am going to move it up, bring my plane on back over, Oops. and we do that. I want to make my plane a passive collider. So let's go ahead to end cloth, create a passive collider, click back on your pillow. Come back over to your attribute editor, and uh, looks like we have to create this again as a woo, as a cloth. I think I went back too far, so I'm just gonna create a cloth again. Okay, turn up my pressure. Maybe we'll give it some stickiness. And this time we need the gravity. Too much gravity. Let's see how that plays. Okay. It looks kind of good. Maybe we can play around with it a bit. Do that a little bit more. Get some nice crushing. Yeah. 
So these pillows, maybe you could, um, you just kind of want to get it, and you could drop them into wherever your scene is too. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick that that is another thing that you can do with the pillows. It doesn't have to just blow up on itself. You can turn the gravity in and then drop it into your scenes. Um, this one looks like it doesn't have enough divisions for that exact scene that I want. Um, looking a little better. So, yep. Anyway, so that's quickly how to do the pillows again so that you guys can reference it here from the YouTube channel. Thanks!